Happy International Clouded Leopard Day. I'm going to be reading a book called The Clouded Leopard's Secret. It's written by Karen Povey and illustrated by Heather Hudson. Song Pong woke before dawn, eager to begin working by the day's first light. Gathering his equipment, he pauses to listen as the forest begins to stir. The gibbon's ghostly song floats down the nearby mountainside. Overhead, a hornbill's great wings loudly slice the air as it hurries towards a feast of figs. The warm morning breeze bends the tall grass in the clearing as the last night's animals returns to their dens. This forest has felt like home to Song Pong since he was a boy living in the nearby village. His childhood journeys here led him many miles over the red earth trails that wind through the whispering bamboo. As he explored, Song Pong often wondered about the unseen creatures that shared the well-worn paths. Now that he is a wildlife biologist, Song Pong's curiosity about the forest remains strong. Today, he is on the trail of one of the forest's most mysterious creatures, the clouded leopard. The clouded leopard spends nearly all of its time deep in the heart of the tropical Asian forest. Sometimes, however, it ventures out of the trees to roam the edges of the tall grass meadows. The clouded leopard is very shy and seldom seen by people. By studying clues the clouded leopard leaves behind, Song Pong hopes to uncover the mysteries of its secret life. Each sign Song Pong finds reveals part of the cat's hidden world. The size and shape of a dusty track tells him that an adult clouded leopard recently passed through the clearing. Song Pong has seen similar tracks here before. He knows barking deer graze this meadow, attracting clouded leopards hungry for a meal. The clouded leopard is one of the best hunters in the forest, able to kill birds, monkeys, porcupine, and even small deer. If he is lucky, Song Pong may find the remains of a clouded leopard's dinner. Leftover bones, fur, and feathers help him learn what prey the cat needs to survive. Even if he can't find leftovers from a meal, Song Pong often discovers the clouded leopard's droppings, called scat. By examining the tiny bits of bones and teeth he finds inside the scat, Song Pong can identify the type of animal that the clouded leopard ate. Song Pong also uses other tools to help him get an up-close look at the clouded leopards he studies. Check that out. Gorgeous cat, beautiful markings. Although it was surprised, the clouded leopard captured by the camera trap during the night passed by unharmed. Song Pong sets his cameras along wildlife trails throughout the forest. When the camera detects an animal's movement, it snaps a picture. By comparing the markings of the clouded leopards in the photos, Song Pong can recognize individual animals. This helps him estimate the number living in the area. Song Pong feels excited whenever he captures a clouded leopard with a camera, since this is, is usually the only way he can see the secretive animal he works so hard to study. Although he can't see her, there is one cat in the forest that Song Pong knows very well. Song Pong captured this female clouded leopard several months ago and fitted a special collar around her neck before he released her. The collar gives off signals that allows Song Pong to follow her movements. By studying these signals, Song Pong learned that clouded leopard recently gave birth to cubs. To track the collared clouded leopard, Song Pong climbs to the top of a hill where the signal is the strongest. By recording the location of the signal, Song Pong can learn how much space the clouded leopard uses while, uh, when she is active. 
This information is very important for helping wildlife managers protect the cat's songpong studies. Songpong sometimes worries about the future of the clouded leopard and her cubs. He knows that many people from nearby villages use the forest often in ways that harm wildlife. Songpong is eager to share what he's learned with his friends and neighbors. He hopes that if they better understand the forest's wildlife, they will care for it as much as he does and work to protect it. Since learning about the wild cats that share the forest, the people from the villagers are, are beginning to help Songpong with his research. They tell him where they have seen signs of clouded leopards and are careful not to harm his cameras or other equipment. Songpong is pleased to see that his friends now have a great interest and pride in the forest's animals. As darkness falls and the night creatures begin to stir, Songpong realizes that he has discovered the true secret of the clouded leopard. That with understanding, both people and wildlife can have a safe future together. Thank you guys for joining me today. Check out this book online. Bye guys.